Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about atmosphere interactions with sun and earth and elements of weather. This will be the fourth quarter topic and learning competency number 9. This lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to explain how the sun's radiation provides the primary source of energy that drives Earth's atmospheric and climate systems The second one is to construct simple models or simulation to visualize the interaction between the sun, atmosphere, and the Earth And the third one is to appreciate the critical role of the sun's energy in sustaining life and supporting the functioning of Earth's atmospheric and climate system by answering the reflection of learning. In activating the prior knowledge for the short review, the teacher will ask the learners to label the layers of the atmosphere using the terms from the content vocabulary. The following are the overview of the Earth's atmosphere. So when it comes to structure, the atmosphere is divided into layers and each with the unique characteristics. The troposphere, it is where we live and it is the densest and contains most weather phenomena. When it comes to composition, the atmosphere is primarily composed of nitrogen and oxygen along with the trace amounts of other gases like carbon dioxide and water vapor. The following are the rule of the sun in Earth's atmosphere. So the first one is solar radiation. So the sun's energy drives atmospheric processes and it warms the Earth's surface and powers the water cycle. The second one is the greenhouse effect. So certain gases in the atmosphere, like carbon dioxide, it traps the heat and warm the planet. So this is known as the greenhouse effect. The following are the atmospheric pressure and temperature gradients. So the first one is the pressure, second is the gradient, and the third one is the temperature. So air pressure decreases with altitude, and temperature gradients create differences in pressure, driving air movement. The following are the air masses and fronts. So the air masses, it is a large bodies of air with similar temperature and humidity characteristics. While the fronts, it is the boundaries between air masses where different temperatures and moisture levels collide, often leading to weather changes. The following are the cloud formation and precipitation. So the first one is the condensation. So it water vapors in the air, cools, and condenses into tiny water droplets forming clouds. While precipitation, so when clouds droplets grow large enough, they fall to the ground as rain, snow, hail, or sleet. 
The following are the winds and air circulation patterns. So the first one is the Coriolis effect. So the rotation of the Earth causes winds to curve, influencing global circulation patterns. The second one is pressure gradients. So differences in air pressure it drives winds, creating patterns like trade winds and jet streams. The following are the severe weather phenomena. So the first one is the thunderstorm. So this is the convective storms with lightning and strong winds often associated with heavy rainfall and hail. The second one is the tornadoes. So violent rotating column of air that extend from a thunderstorm cloud to the ground. And the third one is the hurricanes. So these are the large powerful storms that form over tropical waters characterized by strong winds, heavy rainfall, and storm surges. The following are the forecasting and predicting the weather. So the first one is data. So weather forecasting relies on collecting data from various sources, and this includes the satellites, weather station, and the radar. The second one is the models. So computer models use complex equations to stimulate atmospheric conditions and to predict future weather patterns. The third one is the analysis. So meteorologists analyze data and model output to issue forecasts and warnings about the potential weather hazards. For the work example, the teacher will ask the students to study the image below and have them complete the table and answer the guide question.